as a creator, chances are you understand the importance of being organized. Because I know if I'm not organized, I'm all over the place, I can't focus, it takes me a lot of extra time, ain't nobody got time for that, all that stuff. So today I'm gonna cover my organization process right here. Hey, how's it going? My name's Ray, this is Lit With Ray. I make videos on creativity and technology, so consider subscribing. If this is your first time here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Now, let's start. Yeah. So keeping things organized might take a couple of extra seconds, but a few seconds of preparation saves a lot of time with execution, something like that. I just did a bushism. Every minute of preparation saves 10 minutes of execution. So I'm gonna give you some insider access to the Lit With Ray channel, how I keep my media files organized on my computer, how I organize them within DaVinci Resolve, what I do with my project files afterwards, and what I do for backup. So the first thing I'm gonna cover is how I keep my files organized, because if you're taking pictures, you're taking videos, that data is gonna add up really, really quickly. So, you know. Yeah. So this is where I keep my files. I have one for DaVinci Resolve. This is for all the backend stuff that DaVinci Resolve needs to store. So I'd never go in there just for storage purposes. I have a media folder that I keep separate, which is gonna have my intro bumper, my Tuesday's quick tips bumper, as well as my subscribe button that I made in Fusion. Going back to media, I'm also gonna have any images or logos that I use. Also, I'm gonna have any video music that I've downloaded. Now, as I said on Tuesday, I like to keep my music organized and I have two different files for every music file that I have. One including all the copyright annotation information that I have to include in my description and the other one is the file itself because, you know, that's the important one. I have extra sound effects that I've just downloaded over time that I use within my videos. If it's not already included in DaVinci Resolve Sound Library, and I also have plugins over here. So going back to production projects, this is my skeleton folder. This is what I use for every video project that I have. So when you go in here, you'll see that I have everything organized. I have timelines, which I don't populate outside of DaVinci Resolve. It's actually just for within DaVinci Resolve and it saves me an extra step of having to create something else. I'll show you that in a little bit. I have a sound folder, one for FX and one for music. I don't really populate these outside of DaVinci Resolve and the reason is because the music, I like to keep one file so it doesn't add up space on my hard drive, even though it's a minimal amount because it is music and sound effects and they're not that huge as far as files go. I also have an images folder. So this is gonna be for any clip art that I use or any pictures, my thumbnails get stored in this file. And then I have my footage folder, which I separate into A-roll and B-roll. If you don't know already, A-roll is your primary content and B-roll is your supporting content. So I'm gonna show you how this works real quick. Going into the Lit With Ray folder, brand is gonna be my assets, things like my headshot, my logo, and my channel artwork, or my Facebook artwork, or my Twitter artwork, or any of that. B-roll is any extra footage that I'm using for pretty much any of the projects. For review are any video files that I started to record and I just didn't find a place for it. So it's kind of like my messing around folder. So going into videos, these are some of the videos that I've made or that I'm working on. If I go into, for example, my video on don't buy an M50, this is the rendered out video. My timelines again is empty, any images. So I have my thumbnails and then I have any stock footage that I used within that video. And then footage, I have my B-roll. And then of course I have my A-roll. So now we're gonna start with DaVinci Resolve. But before we do, go ahead and smash that like button if you're getting value out of this now. Let's continue. As you can see, when I first start up DaVinci Resolve, I'm greeted with this screen. I created a folder for Lit With Ray. When I go into here, I have videos and I have my intro. Going into my videos, these are some of the different videos that are actually on this computer right now. So I keep all of my projects within here. So what I'm gonna do is create a new project. We'll call this Media Organization. Go over to the Media tab. There's a couple of different ways to accomplish this task. One thing I can do is take this folder here and drag everything within here and it will populate this entire left side. So I have all of my different folders. I'm gonna undo that real quick so I can show you. Another thing that I can do is go through my different files, 
go to my projects, and then try and go to this location. Now a really cool shortcut that you can do is you can actually add this to favorites by just dragging it down here. Obviously I've already done that, so I have Lit With Ray right here, and then I have Media. Media is just, you know, like my music, my sound effects, and all of that. Going to Lit With Ray, we're gonna go to Videos, and then we'll go to Media Organization, and then what I can do is take all these files and then just drag them in here just like that and again you see how populated it is now if i go over to my edit tab and i go to media pool you'll see all these different files now there's no files within this right now so that's why it's empty but once i create something let's say effects library and i'm just going to drag over an adjustment clip real quick boom it creates a timeline folder then i would drag it onto timelines and just like that it's kind of cool so let's say i've finished up my project, I've rendered it out, now it's time to back up my project. I actually don't delete any of my files. Every project that I do, I save backed up on an external hard drive, which is right here, in case I ever have to go back. And I'm not trying to get nostalgic here, but you know, I like to save things. I might have a little problem because I am definitely a digital hoarder. Just last week I deleted like 3,000 pictures that I had that I just realized that are of absolutely nothing. You know when you take burst shots on your phone and you get like super blurry images in between? Those are the files that I had that I was just like, what? <laughs> Why am I holding on to these? Like, I'm never gonna use these. But regardless, what I'm gonna show you right now is how to back up onto a hard drive. This one's a two terabyte Western Digital. Works for me. So now let's say that I finished my editing project. So what I'm gonna do is right click on this and click on Export Project Archive. It's gonna load it up right here because I already have one of these. I'm just gonna say backup and click save. And it's gonna ask me if I wanna save my render cache and optimize media. No, I'm not going to because this eats up extra space that you don't need to take up. If I really need to, I'm just gonna go through and re-render it, but chances are I'm probably never gonna access this again. This is just for archival purposes and making sure that I'm not deleting anything that I've created. I take a lot of pride in what I create, even if it's not that good. I don't care, I save it. Maybe at some point I'll go back and show you guys my first couple of videos. I can go back and laugh at myself, like, cool. So I'm gonna hit cancel because I've already had it there, but I'm gonna hit close here and I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on my actual hard drive. So if I go over to production, go into late with Ray, so going into YouTube, I have completed content in progress and intros. Content is anything that I haven't actually created a project for. In progress are things that I'm currently working on, which is funny because I'm not currently working on any of these. And then completed is where I drag all my files. Once I'm done with this hard drive and it's completely filled up, I'm gonna end up buying another one and I'm gonna keep this on the side probably end up labeling it just so I know what's on here and all of that. Cool, so I've backed up my project onto the external hard drive. Now what I'm gonna do is remove the project from DaVinci Resolve in case, you know, I have too many files on my computer because it really does add up fast. What I'll end up doing is saying delete. It's gonna ask me to confirm and tell me that it's unreversible. Fine, I'm cool with that. Hit close go back over to my hard drive, go to my videos, and then I'll end up deleting the file from the hard drive because it's already backed up and good, I'm good to go. So going to backup solutions, it really sucks if you lose your files or they get destroyed or you misplace a hard drive or any of that. Once you do, like it's gone. There's nothing you can do about it. So this is Backblaze. I'm actually gonna leave a link to this down below in the description. Feel free to check it out if you want to but I would definitely encourage something like this because like I said, if you lose your data, you're completely screwed. So they provide unlimited online backup, which is absolutely ridiculous. You can back up all your external hard drives, you can restore your files, and you can actually have them send you a hard drive if you have so much data that you just can't download it because certain internet service providers, there's just a cap as to how much data that you can actually use within a month. You think things are unlimited but they're not. So cool, I'm gonna leave a link to that down in the description below. Obviously there's a lot of different options and different ways to keep your media organized. This is the method that I use cause you know, it works for me and I have to keep things where I need them. Like I just need it as easy and as simple as possible. And I think that I've created that here. 
So go ahead and let me know, how are you staying organized? Do you actually keep your projects after you're done with them? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash that like button if you got value out of this. Don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified whenever I come out with a new video. You can follow me on social media, and until next time, I'll catch you later.